it don't even have nothing to do with talent anymore. Mm -hmm. People are just putting on a nigga that's their fans, or right. somebody that so so knows that it's just fucking up the game, you actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, okay, you know, I, I want to ask you this question partly because I feel like, you know, everybody wants to get radio play, everybody's trying to, you know, and you may not be trying to do this, but a lot of people are trying to go get that like 50 type of situation where, you know what I'm saying, or a Wayne situation where he's across the board making money doing what he's doing. But, I mean, are you trying to go, are you trying to be an edgy rapper or are you trying to just, just try to, you know, go the mainstream, mainstream route right now? I mean, what is your Actually, ultimate goal with the music? My ultimate goal with it is just to be me and for people. But what is you? Describe your music. Describe my, my music is from the streets. It's uh, from the heart. It's lyrical. Okay. It's, it's more. It's bringing it back more to when Nas dropped Illmatic and Jay Z dropped These Book Out, Biggie dropped Ready to Die type stuff. But nothing was really watered down. When you step in, you knew what you wanted to make. Nobody was telling you, "Oh, go make this song. Oh, mm -hmm. go do this song." I want to be somebody that got total control of my music. So I, I mean, I'm essentially, you're going to be staying independent doing that because. Yeah. Obviously, when you get to a label, they're not, they're not going to be like, yeah, do you. If we feel <laughs> support that 100%, they're going to be like, you need to do what we say you're going to do. But, but sometimes if you're doing the right thing, they might let you do that. Right, but you have to show that, yeah, essentially. Show that. So, I mean, are you looking to get signed to a major label? Actually... Is, is that is that a dream of yours? Is that a vision? or it's, are you? It's definitely, it's definitely a dream to work for some of the modules out there, you know what I'm saying? But... If I could be independent and still feel like that I'm proving myself to where it's not really about the money. Like okay. that, you know what I'm saying? It's, as long as I feel like I'm proving myself as the artist that I want to be, mm -hmm. and the people recognize that I'm the artist that I'm talking about, that's right. what I want to do. You know? Okay. But remember, you got to eat too, so we're going to talk about how to <laughs> yeah. eat when we come back. All right, we got to take another music break. Of course, we're on the drama queen. We're going to get into more with No Wedding. But right now, we're going to go into this song called Want to Kill Me. You all right? You don't yeah. want to kill nobody, right? Look at me over there. All right, it's Jungle Queen Radio. We'll be right back with Noetic yeah. on PNC. Y'all niggas, hurry up. Go in there, book the niggas, and get the fuck out. Don't be playing. Dog tank. You hear what I'm saying? Kill them niggas and get the fuck back so we can stab out. I'm going to be chilling right here. Hey, nigga, I want to know if you ready to do this shit. Is you ready to do this shit or what, motherfucker? I'm low key, I don't really like to boast too much. Niggas is wise guys, so they know too much. I'm watching all corners and peeking out windows. Stress full of mess, so I'm blowing out endo. Bed sheets start to feel so colder. Can trust my own eyes looking over my shoulders, damn. Emotions is running like a marathon. Will it end? I'm close to the finish line. Tossing and turning with shit on my mind. In love with the money, gotta stay on the ground, please. I don't need to hear the words you preaching. Well, in these Lewis arms, these dudes can't reach them. Can't stop praying. God treating me wrong, devil in my soul, angel singing a song, huh, a good fella got a height in my dough, when my days getting shorter, your life in my coat, they wanna kill me, reload, cop back, the bullets might drill me, he stay in touch, but niggas don't feel me, see the fire in his eyes, I can feel him when somebody about to die, they wanna kill me, reload, cop back, the bullets might drill me, he stay in touch, but niggas don't feel me, see the fire in his eyes. It's Drama Radio on PNC. Of course, you Drama Queen. I'm here, as usual, getting into the, the business of another independent. We got No Wedding. Yes, sir. He's still good. Here. I know he's still here. He didn't come out, you know, he made it through this break. We got a couple more to go. So we'll see if he's still here. And, you know, sometimes these artists be drop the mic. Ah! But now he's good. He's good. He's good. Not too much drama going on right now. So, we heard the song Want to Kill Me at the top of that set, right? And um, talk about that a little bit. I mean, you know, is this another song we featured, featured on mixtape or the upcoming album? Actually, or? it was on uh, Green Lantern's MySpace Invasion. Okay. Actually, Green Lantern picked that together on mixtape. Okay, that's good. Track 24, I think. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in the mix. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, essentially, you know, how, how, did, how, did, how did that happen? I mean, you know, a lot of these, uh, you know, independent artists. Well, actually, uh, DJ Grand Lanner, he hit up our page or whatever, and he was like, some of this music or whatever. And he was like, if he likes it, he'll put it on, he'll put it on the mix. Oh, but cool. he has to like it. Right. And then he, picked, he picked that track. He sent him like three tracks, you know what I'm saying? He picked the one for the track. He was like, he's a really big beat, you know, I guess it was his style or whatever. And who, so, and who created that beat? Uh, Questo, DJ All right. So Questo's doing this thing, and he's an 18, 19-year-old? No. Oh. He's older than that. Oh, he's 40? No, he ain't 40. Oh, okay. He's like 30. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, you know, um, I mean, it, it, cause I, I did listen to the song. 
song, and I want to know if this, if, you know, is is it based on like a real experience or actually? Like, I, mean, I just want that whole angle. Some some of it, some of it is like based off you know, personal things. Okay. Like, and some of it, you know, I mean, just how you find that. Okay, so what what parts are imagination parts real? Because I mean, are you are you like? So nah, I actually, trying to attack you with nah, like uh, a while back on my phone, I was getting like these text messages like from mm -hmm. some like website, I don't know, like somebody was using like an unknown website where you just send like text messages to people's phones. And they were like, you know, uh, saying like things that only someone that knew me would know. Mm -hmm. Saying that they were gonna come to my house and kill me, kill my roommates and saying all this like glyph glyph bullshit with that dead all that stuff, you know what I mean? So Kind of got a little tight with my sweat, mm. so that's what I was mainly particularly going at. You know what I mean? Putting it on the track and the beat. When I first heard the beat, it just sent like a little airy feeling to me, like you know. Okay. Feeling good and bad. Right. Feeling. So I mean, is that situation over now? Yeah, it's, it's over. It's over. Did you find out who it was? I never found out who it was. Mm, interesting facts. You know I mean? Could have been Black Rob trying to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. All right, so. You know, I mean, you know, as an independent, obviously you have high hopes, right? So, you know, where do you realistically see yourself within the next five, ten years? I mean, realistically, and I'm not saying I'm in a yacht with a model, oh, couple nah, bottles. Nah. I mean, if, if you have McDonald's, you just be real. If you have McDonald's, you know what I mean? If you eat chicken McNuggets, you know, next, four piece or six piece, you know, it's gonna be good. The next five or ten, actually, I see, I see myself just doing my black food business. Hopefully, in ten years. I wouldn't want to be back still. Okay. So I mean you this is a short term thing for you then. Not really a short term, but I wanna at least come in and do at least five, six hours right now. In five years? Not five, you said five to ten. Okay, five to ten. Okay. Five, five, so ten. so okay, so by ten years you wanna have you wanna have five to five to six hours. Yeah, at least. Okay. At least. And you want them to at least go bronze. At least, at least <laughs> I want shit. So, you want right to now, right now, a hundred thousand is good shit. Yeah. Man, shit independent shit. But right. I rather you know, I'd rather be like gold platinum one more success. Right, right, right. That would be stupid to not want that somebody. Good. Good. Um so you know as as a young male artist, you know, it's it's easy to get categorized into a lot of these stereotypes. I mean, obviously you're not a snap artist. I mean, you definitely don't fit into that category. But, you know, with, with somewhat tougher lyrics, not, you know, super tough. You're not rapping about gats and slapping women. But, I mean, do you often feel because you're young, you get categorized into, or even labeled, you know, quickly? Or just, you know, pe people don't really accept you because you aren't a veteran or you haven't been out there on the grind so much. I mean, they kind of just... Well, like, I, I, dismiss you? I say, like, I want to say really categorize. They, like, kind of say that you kind of like this person and this person. So who have people called you or said uh, you were like? Well, like, I get, like, the punchline styles, like Cassidy's, and then my swag is, like, Drew Elson and Tana's, mm -hmm. and, like, that whole mixture of that young era of rappers, you mm -hmm. know? And I try to put myself in a, a whole different category, you know? You know they're all pretty, right. They're all good, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with them, but I want to be no wedding. I don't want to be no like somebody else. So where did you get the name No Wedding? Actually, I was like uh, like 15 years old and I was trying to think of a rap name. I was coming up with some dumbass names like one of them was Prime Minister. I'm like, Prime Minister? Prime Minister. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, like, boy. You might not have said that, that, but that's you know why. I mean? Then I had like, uh, I came up with one called Need Cash and then like it. So now I was like, you know, the way I write at the time, I was a totally different rapper before. Like, the thing mm -hmm. I write about started from kind of like poetry and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm a nigga. I'm writing poetry. So oh, wow. Nah, not like that. Not, not <laughs> I'm that a time. nigga, man. Like, nah, like, <laughs> but, so I was like, I'm just going to take it as, I'm going to just put it together and I came up with no way. And it's just like, why, why not nigga wreck? That's my squad. Why why no way? Why not nigga wreck? Asked, asked a few shorty, they said it's not good. So. Okay, so it was the girls who close on on that, basically. Yeah, Okay, so Noetic came from nigga and poetic. I don't know, that just seemed like a big I swear, you know. I swear to God. I don't know, I thought you were like watching Poetic Justin and you were nah. feeling like, you know, nah. Janet even like, mm, no, Janet. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Alright, Noetic, so you're currently 25, right? Okay, and I mean, as, and you started, you say, about 10 years ago? really started to get into this? Yeah, that's when I started writing, basically. Okay, 